Look, in a lot of cases, absolute value questions are very simple. There's like one little piece that's absolute value and we can just like think about it. And if you know what absolute value is, it's really easy to just like work it through algebraically or even just think about it and get the answer. But obviously this is way more complicated. We have two absolute value things. How does that work? What's going on? You might be able to see it, but why bother with this, right? Let's just let the calculator do the work. So we can enter absolute value in Desmos very easily. So we'll, let's first start with the two. And then right there above the ABCs, bottom left here, it has the A with the two lines around it. That's Those are the special absolute value parentheses. So use those, type four minus X, and then get out of those parentheses, add the three, and then another set of those absolute value bars, again, four minus X, and get out of them and then equals 25. And you see what's happening here is we're getting these straight vertical lines. Remember that if we are putting an equation into Desmos that only has one type of variable, so one, it only has X's here, right? There's, there's multiple X's, but there's only one type. There's only the X's. What it's gonna do is just solve for that variable for you. So these vertical lines are the solutions, the answers. So we can just hopefully tap it, let's see. Oh no, it doesn't let me tap, oh, it's fine. So sometimes when you have a normal, uh, when it's solving and it's giving you those x-intercepts, it's just going to let you tap it and you'll see it. But um, for whatever reason, I think when Desmos gets more uh, complicated equations that you're giving it, uh, the way it works on the back end, it doesn't let you tap. So it's frustrating, but it's okay. We can kind of zoom in and see. Now, one thing I'm not even gonna bother with is the negative one because it says positive solution. So let's go to the positive side of the axis, which is over here and yeah, Looks like nine. Is there any decimal here? I don't see it. I could keep zooming forever and notice we're getting closer and no, it's not shifting. That is dead on the nine. So that is my answer. Whew, that's an ugly nine. Let's try that again. <laughs> nine, there you go. So that's it, that is the answer. Um, I would absolutely use the the equation here, uh, or sorry, so use the calculator here um, and just let it do the work for me. Um, if you wanted to use the algebra, I believe what you would have to do is recognize that the four minus X is the same. And so basically we can kind of treat these like, like they're their own variable and add them together. So we'd have something like five, because we're adding the two and the three, five absolute value four minus X equals 25, divide both sides by the five, the absolute value of four minus X is equal to five. And this is where the more traditional uh, ideas for absolute value take over. Basically, we can have two situations. Either four minus X can be five or four minus X can be negative five because remember the absolute value bars turn the result uh, positive. So if it were negative, it would look positive to us. So this would mean that we would subtract the four, we would get negative X is equal to one, which means X is equal to negative one. So that is a solution. We said that before, but that's not what they wanted. They wanted the positive solution. And then here I would do the same thing. Subtract four, subtract four, negative X is negative nine. So X is positive nine. And there's the proof. Um, it's not so bad. But I think that for most of you, you're gonna have uncertainty. So even if you get that first step down where you combine the two things, you're just gonna feel like, uh, I don't know if this is right. And as much as possible, I'd love certainty. And so that's what the calculator gets for us is it gets us a confidence that lets us get an answer and move on. So as whenever, especially if you're stuck with algebra, or you're unsure about it, default to strategies, default to the calculator, let them do the work for you.